Hello guys, it's Hyper. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be explaining the TVP build, Reactor Racks Fast Expand into Marine slash Wildermine Drop. So I hope you'll enjoy. I'll try to explain everything as good as I can. And if you have any questions, please do feel free to ask me. Enjoy. Alright, this is the order I will be explaining the build in. First, I'll be explaining the build order, then scouting, then the transitions, then pros and cons, some tips, and the favorable maps. Alright, I will be explaining the build order now. First, you want to take your supply depot at 10 supply, then you get your barracks at 12 supply, the refinery at 15 supply, then you want to build two marines. The first one you're going to be building at 16 supply. At 17 supply, you're going to be building the orbital command. And you're also going to be building the second supply depot at 17 supply. Then at around 18 supply, you're going to be building the second marine. When that second marine is done, you will be starting reactor on the barracks. At 400 minerals, you start your second command center. And when you start your second command center, then I would suggest you building a bunker in your at your entrance so you can deny any stalker uh, harassments. At 100 gas, you start your factory. When the reactor is done in the barracks, you start constant marine production. When the factory is done, you start a starport and you build two water mines from that factory. When the starport is done, you start a medevac. You want when the medevac is done, you want to drop with two widow mines and four marines that's the build order the scouting part this build is a reasonable safe build to do versus anything your opponent can do early on because it gives you a reacted racks to pump out marines two at a time also if you're feeling unsafe you have the minerals after your reactor finishes to place down a bunker at your natural if your opponent is doing a later all-in, then instead of being aggressive with your marines and widow mines, you can place them further back and defend your bunker or main as well as constantly pr producing widow mines to keep replenishing your defensives. Scouting your opponent's natural expansion timing with an SCB is huge. If your opponent does not have an expansion by six minutes, by six minutes expect the all-in otherwise the mid-game scouting will come from seeing how your opponent defends the widow mine drop the transition this build transitions rather smoothly into standard bio play or mech play if you're feeling particularly safe you can avoid taking your second gas for quite some time by throwing down a third command center just before your medevac pops instead of getting your mid-game infrastructure if you want to transition into bioplay, then get your second gas, two more barracks, an engineering bay, a tech lab on your factory, and a reactor in your starport. This way, you can swap, swap off your initial barracks onto the factory's tech lab and start stim. Start getting plus one attack from engineering bay and get enough bio units to support a mid-game timing. If you want to transition into mech play, then get all four gas geysers, a tech lab on, onto your factory, two more factories, and an armory. Once you have three bases secured, you can finally push. With five factories pumping out tanks and hellbats, hellbats as reinforcements. The pros and cons. This build is good because it gives you a good economy, but also enough marines to defend early game stalker slash mothership core harass. Then the marine slash mind drop gives you complete map control and keeps your opponent in the dark as to what follow up you're doing, mech bio 3rd CC. Not to mention that if your opponent is not careful, this build can get your mines in your opponent's mineral lines and land some huge hits on probes. However, this build is more vulnerable to late, later all-ins such as Void Ray or Blink plus Mothership a core all-ins than more standard bioplay. So be sure to position your Widow Mines defensively and add on more bunkers versus an opponent that you have scouted isn't expanding. Also, with poor medevac control, 
you can very easily lose your medevac and all the widow mines if you fly directly into stalkers or a planetary nexus. Be sure to prioritize keeping the medevac alive above all else. Lastly, it's not as, econom as economical as a one rack fast expand build, but it's still a pretty reasonable fast expand. So it's not too far behind a one rack fast expand build in terms of economy at all. Tips. Early game stalker slash mothership core pressure may be hard to deal with, but just hold on until you get out and with a mine and then you can defend your base. Once you have pinned your opponent on an aggressive build, for instance by scouting a star gauge slash proxy slash lack of nexus, do not move out, instead be sure to posture your widow mines in an appropriately defensive position. Oracles flat out destroy marines, so if you're fighting an opponent going for stargate, position your widow mines by the mineral line and even consider getting out one turret per base. When committing to an attack, boost in and drop one middle widow mine at your opponent's main to natural ramp in order to trap his army on one half of his base. Once you have his ram locked down, you'll have several seconds of complete control of, of the half of his base where his army is not located. Use these seconds to kill workers and or position a mine in a crucial location. Above all else, the strength of this build is non-stop harass slash pressure. Do not lose your medevac or your entire map control will disappear. Favorable maps. This build is strongest on smaller maps with room to drop as well as on maps with a safe natural so that your opponent is more likely to expand instead of try to all in you. The maps that are favorable for this build is Star Station, Daybreak, Newkirk, and whirlwind. I'm not going to show you a game where I did this exact build, so maybe this will give you a better understanding of the build when you're gonna see some actual game footage. Enjoy. Alright, so this is the gameplay where I'm gonna be showing you the build I just explained to you. I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna be explaining too much since I did that before. I'm just gonna be pointing out uh, stuff uh, when it comes. So we're just going to be fast forwarding this just a bit. Here I take the supply depot, standard supply depot. After that I follow up with a barrack. Then as soon as I hit 15 supply, I take the refinery. There we go. Then I slide my first marine and take out and put down a supply depot plus the Alberto command. And after the barrack finishes, I send out my scout, as you can see here. Then I start my second m m marine. After that second marine, I get reactor, as you see here. And then as soon as I hit 400 minerals, I start my natural expand, my second command center. Then I build a bunker after the n natural has begun. Then as soon as I hit 100 gas, I start a factory. And, I, and then when the reactor finishes, I start constant marine production, send out four marines out here, and put them into the bunker. Then I leave the rest into the main, if there were a mothership core or an oracle to come into my base. Then I start the water mine production. As soon as I have enough gas, I start the gas and minerals of course. I start the starport. I send out my second man center star mining from it. Build the last widow mine. Then as soon as the star probe finishes, I get the medevac. So again, you want four marines and two widow mines for this drop. Then when you send out the drop, you want to put, you, you can do this, you take a third, 
a fast third or you can take you put down your second gas and then you add on two more barracks you start reactor in this one and on one of the barracks you start a tech lab where you research them and on the other, t on the other barrack you build right here you get a reactor on also you want to start your first engineering bay uh, as your medevac goes out so the medevac goes out as as I mentioned before star station is one of the favorable maps for this so one of the reasons why star station is such a favorable map is because you have this really really big uh, space here where you have a really big window to drop and you can do that from both sides that is why star station is such a good map it's gonna fast forward this just a bit here comes the drop I chose to just go straight in go into the mineral line throw down one wood of mine and then I go straight down to natural the mine takes out about four three four probes and then I put it down in natural takes out another probes and the main goal here is not to lose that medevac so I quickly move out the medevac because we don't want to lose that I just leave the wood mines here see if I can get more probe kills back at base I got the engineering bay up, tech lab is up, starting stem. I'm gonna use the factory as a scouting base. And also when you build your starport, when when just before you start building medevacs, get your third geyser down. And then I st start getting my third around 9.30. Stem has started. And then you just start constant marine production, get out two medevacs. See, he's going to be doing uh, a all-in here. And this, is, uh, this build is vulnerable to this kind of all-in. But it is... Uh, it is uh, there's a uh, possibility to hold this. I send out another drop, just for some pressure. Remember, this build is a constant harass slash pressure build so you want to keep the pressure up on your opponent and then he goes with his push and what I do here I pull some SCVs just to absorb some of the damage and let my units attack and not getting hit I do push him back a bit he comes in with another wave of salads I, ch I choose to go back into my main lift up my natural close to supply depot and just get some more units here stim isn't complete yet it's close to be done and keep in mind while this goes on I have a drop going here I just cleared the whole main his his push goes in I pull my SCVs try to surround as good as I can it kind of kind of worked and I just takes my units here I have stim now so I can use the stim and I have three medevacs so I should be fine even though I'm losing a couple of SCVs it's fine because keep in mind I have pretty much killed all his probes and he calls GG this right here were the build for the TVP with the build for the TVP reactor racks fast expand enter marine slash water mine drop 
I hope this build were helpful for you, and as always, have a nice day.